What's up everyone, Electronic Search here, back with another video. And we finally have a new vacuum, or should I say a mini vacuum. It's not even a vacuum, it's literally just a bucket or some junk. And it's the Bissell, the Bissell Power Force Helix Turbo. And this is the top plate. I basically just took it out of the thing and I removed the turbo and I cleaned it up with, with some cleaning stuff. And as you can see, that made the the plastic fog up, but whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and make the thumbnail shot here. Like so. And the Bissell vacuum that I took apart, the video is released, by the way. Um, so yeah, I basically, again, I took it out. I took it out the vacuum. I removed the turbo, and I kind of damaged the plastic over here a little bit to remove it. But that went in the garbage can. And there's some scratches on the inside, but who's going to look at the top of this thing? And again, this isn't even a vacuum. It doesn't even vacuum up. It's just a plastic piece which contains the Bissell logo, the Power Force Helix Turbo thing. And I took this out of it because I don't have a Bissell in here yet. As you can see, there's just a, a fat sanitizer that does nothing all day long. Hoover, Eureka, Dirt Devil, another Hoover, another Dirt Devil, and another Eureka. And an Oric, another Dirt Devil, a Dyson upstairs, and another Dirt Devil. Yes, I have four Dirt Devils, and that's upstairs too. And I think that's about all of them. And I don't have a Bissell yet. And because that Bissell was so dirty and filled with bugs and spiders and even a cicada shell. I'm not sure how a cicada shell got in there, but apparently a cicada probably was living in that thing. So yeah, I just took this thing out of it and that's it. Oh yes, I forgot to include vacuum in, which is basically not a vacuum. It's some kind of bottle opener or some junk, but it has the word vac in it so technically it is a vacuum there goes the air conditioner fan and it's literally just gonna sit up here doing nothing all day long just like sanitizer and yeah so there it is here's a wall update we have so again, not new vacuums. These are st same. Um, all that stuff is the same. The TV is still the same. Again, I changed up the setup here. Now, well, I did um, change it. The Jackson kid did. I got a power outlet down there. One, though. And yeah. And this is cardboard. Not a real one. The real one, which is over here, is just powering stuff that's actually real like a tv and the lights of course there's no such thing as a cardboard light and it used to power this but again because it's broken i'm not even going to bother talking about this junk anymore and i might get a crt down here for this computer so we don't have to use this paper non-functional apple cinema display I might get the Hair CRT TV down here or the Dell CRT monitor. But the Dell is 17 inches and I doubt it's going to fit in here. 
the 13 inch hair is probably gonna re reach but it doesn't have any VGA not that this thing is working there's the main TV that we use for the well we don't really use it we don't even have anything to plug it in and this thing is broken but we will get a real one eventually. It will be an HR24 and a Genie Mini. And I do not have a direct TV satellite up on my roof, so I'm not sure how we're going to watch TV yet. And we have a painy furnace and AC that's not working yet. I still got to get a tube. And we need cardboard gas and cardboard electricity, which means we need another one of these over there. And then we can use it for the winter, because I'm not going to freeze over there in that wall. The outside of the wall, here, actually, I can show everything. The panel and the security is still the same. Not much. The I-9060 is still there. The 405080 is starting to fall off the wall. Isn't that just wonderful? Why are these fire alarms falling off their back box? What is wrong with this junk? Like, the annunciator is doing the same thing. Come on, what is going on? And there is one fire alarm in here that gets zero attention, and that's the Simplex True Alert Remote Strobe. The ES version, addressable alarm. No, seriously, this thing gets zero attention. The only thing that gets attention in here, it's basically just the the game with Sentry over there in the 2903 and the panel over there. That's it. This thing gets zero, zero attention. Nobody even looks at this. It's just there for looks, basically, but it actually is hooked up to that. Well, it's technically hooked up to this because it's addressable, and that's a conventional panel. And the BG-12 cardboard one. And this table up here, some garbage back there, a board, motherboard from a brother fax machine, a box full of toilet paper, plenty of shoes from the babysitter, um, a not being used currently Honeywell Vista 20P that I have for a backup for a current one, which is right here. And we'll technically we're using this right now. And over here, we still have the, you know, the, that. And all the white collection, like the siren, the old Honeywell Wave 2 that's still kind of being used. The extra small EST Genesis Spectral Art Classic and all that junk up there. And over here, I still have the Vista 10SE, the, the satellite box, which doesn't work, and the breaker panel for the entire house here in the corner. And everything over here is still the same. There's the wall update, vacuum bags. Now, if you wonder why I have some some weird-looking cardboard pieces here, like I have this piece of paper over here taped up, that's because there's there's labels over here from packages, and I don't want anyone, because these videos are public, I don't want anyone finding these addresses, because privacy's a thing. So I put some pieces of cardboard and another piece of paper up here. Well, I still have a couple more to go, but, but yeah. In fact, there's toilet paper in there. And, oh yeah, the CO detector. That's still not on, up on the wall, because the Jackson doesn't want to put up his own garbage that doesn't work up on the roof. I gotta put up a heat detector up here, but I can't because this is all the cable man management up here. So we just have that heat detector up there, non-working Nest Protect Gen 2, I3, 
um, intercom speaker, the, the rare simplex remote light, I don't remember what the model number of it is, and another heat detector up there are both Edwards, and that's basically it for the wall. Outside, we don't have much, it's still all the same. Or actually, I can just use this. The mailbox is the same. Nothing different with that. Still have the dish satellites up here. And the direct TV cardboard ones. And the shed, which also gets no attention. Because it's filled with broken stuff, like the broken panel, the broken LG and a recycling bin with nothing in it. And the shed is still the same. Oh yeah, and the i3, someone cares about that still. And yeah, so there's everything. Oh yeah, I forgot to show this. Still have the glass, glass brake detector up there. It's kind of invisible because it blends in with the white styrofoam acting as the door roof, as well as for the shed. And that's it for the, what do we have in the wall so far? There's the mini Bissell. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Well, we still have to get the gate. And yes, I know all this garbage over here is embarrassing, but again, I'm I'm going to remove this when the cat when the cat goes back to its original owner. Oh great, my sister's playing loud music up there. Okay, goodbye. Of course my sister's being such a rudy, like always, not letting me do anything. All right, goodbye.